in this video i am going to share with you some very important points about newton rings as what are newton rings how are they formed and what is the use of these newton rings before starting these points let us first of all focus on the definition of newton's rings newton rings are nothing but concentric circular alternate bright and dark interference fringes which are formed due to superimposition of light waves reflected from a thin air film of varying thickness in the next slide i will try to explain how these newton rings are formed and what apparatus is used for getting these newton rings the apparatus is very simple it consists of a plano convex lens that is placed on a glass plate p dash another glass plate is held above this at an angle of 45 degree with the horizontal and we use a traveling microscope in this position to view the newton rings formed now let us see how this apparatus works a beam of light from an extended source is made incident on this inclined plate p this beam gets reflected in vertically downward direction falls on the plane surface of plano convex lens and then it enters the air film found between plano convex lens and glass plate p dash the mechanism which takes place in this film is shown in this adjoining figure the incident ray of light suffers refraction as well as a reflection from the curved surface of air film the refracted ray suffers a reflection from glass plate p dash and gets transmitted through the plano convex lens both these reflected beams of light superimpose and give rise to an interference pattern consisting of bright and dark fringes of varying thickness for a particular thickness of air film the width of fringe is different now this is how the experimental setup works to form newton rings now the next point is why these fringes are circular in shape the answer to this question lies in this para as locus of all the points of air film of a particular thickness is a circle so the interference fringes due to all the rays of light incident at points corresponding to this particular thickness of air film merge together to appear as a circular ring it is to be noted that central fringe is bright and thickness of fringes goes on decreasing as we move away from central fringe because thickness of air film goes on increasing as we move away from point of contact of lens and plate p dash the fringe width also varies inversely with thickness of thin film and the fringes varying of varying width are called fissure fringes now let us try to derive a relation between radius of 
a particular Newton ring and the thickness of air film corresponding to that Newton ring. As is clear from this diagram, chords DE and chord OB in the circle of curvature of the lens are intersecting at point A. So from geometry of the figure, we can write DA multiplied by AE equal to OA multiplied by AB. Now DA or AE are nothing but uh, radius of Newton's ring and OA is thickness of air film corresponding to radius R and capital R is radius of curvature of plano convex lens. Using these values we can get very important relation between radius of Newton ring and thickness of air film corresponding to that ring. Now let us find an expression for diameter of bright Newton's ring. For that purpose we shall have to recall the relation for fringes in case of a thin film. When thin film is of thickness T and the ray of light is incident at angle of incidence I with angle of refraction theta, then the reflected rays of light superimpose and give rise to bright or dark fringes. The relation between various bright uh, various quantities corresponding to formation of bright fringes is 2 and t cos theta equal to p plus half into lambda where lambda is wavelength of monochromatic incident light theta is angle of refraction as is clear from the figure t is thickness of thin film and n is the refractive index of the material constituting the thin film. In our experiment about Newton rings, the angle of incidence is almost zero because light is incident vertically downward direction on the air film. So using this uh, we can find an expression for diameter of bright fringes, uh, bright ring in case of Newton ring experiment. Now let us come to diameter of dark rings. For that purpose again let us write the relation for formation of dark rings in the interference due to reflected rays in a thin film of thickness T. Using this relation we can calculate an expression for diameter of dark rings. So this completes the theory about formation of Newton rings, what is the radius of bright ring, what is the radius of dark ring, what is the relation between radius of ring and thickness of air film. The next question is what is the use of performing this experiment? How these Newton rings can be used? The first important use is to determine wavelength of monochromatic light. For that purpose let us reconsider the expression for diameter of pth dark ring. Using this we can derive relation for wavelength lambda. It is clear from this relation that knowing the value of diameter of dark ring and radius of curvature of plano convex lens the wavelength of monochromatic light can be calculated very easily. The second use of Newton rings is to determine a refractive index of a transparent liquid. How to use Newton rings for this purpose? First of all, you fill the space having air film with given transparent liquid means 
first of all you plate place the plate p dash pour some transparent liquid and then you place plano convex lens over it now the film between lens and plate does not consist of air but it consists of a transparent given liquid get Newton rings clearly visible through the microscope and again we shall have to derive a relation for dark ring that will be different in this case consider the condition for dark ring it will be in case of a thin film of thickness t that is 2 and t cos theta p lambda as done earlier in our experiment about newton rings again put i equal to 0 and make some calculations after putting various values you can derive a relation for refractive index n it is clear from this relation that knowing the diameter of pth dark ring and radius of curvature of plano convex lens we can calculate refractive index of material of transparent liquid by using a light of a particular wavelength lambda thanks a lot i expect comments from the viewers and i will try to respond to those comments also